TSL day has finally arrived after four years since we had the first one. In 2019, it was the most amazing tournament I've ever been to, and finally, the day is here. I'm competing in one versus one and three versus three. I've been so nervous this morning. Today's gonna be the most important day of my entire life. I'll be competing with Mark and Eric in the three versus three category by myself, obviously, in the 1v1. Now it's 9 27 a.m., it's March. 18th 2023 people will start arriving to the event between 10 and 11 so let's head there i'm not far but we gotta get going This place is full of shufflers from all over the world and it's the biggest international shuffle gathering of all time. There's of course a lot of countries left, but we have people all the way from France, Germany, Switzerland, Finland, Sweden, Estonia, Italy, the Netherlands, Slovakia, Czech Republic, Romania, Poland, Russia, United Kingdom, United States, Canada, Argentina, and of course, people from all around Spain. So let's ask around and let's see what people think about Shuffle Showcase's World Cup, the Showcase League. I came in with no expectations because I just wanted to experience everything. And so far, my mind has been blown. The energy, the people, the community. I was waiting for this moment for 2019 to finally realize my dream. Living the dream, high expectations, like it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be yeah, stacked. Happy to be here. I love the meetup yesterday, waiting for the battle. It's gonna be so epic. It's gonna be fire. Good luck to everybody. Будьте спокойны, слушайте музыку и все будет хорошо. Everyone smiling, everyone being energetically everything that they want to be, it's having a good time. The community is insane here. Enjoy. Get inside. Go as hard as you can. Participating is already progress. Have fun. Good luck. Bring the A game. Let's do this. Se vienen cositas. Five seconds, people. Vamos a entrar ahora civilizadamente y nos vamos a esperar en las escaleras, vale, para entrar todos de golpe. Aquí empieza la DSL. And finally, four years later. about to enter the TSL venue for the first time. The doors right here. Look, everybody gathering in the stairs. personality you forget your name you forget your job you forget your status you forget your future you forget your past what you're involved in is the now and the now is blissful The showcase league, the venue is full, pre selections are about to start. We've been waiting four years to get to this day, and we're finally. 
over here and everybody's enjoying, everybody's dancing, the atmosphere is great. I don't know if you're hearing me because of the music, but I'm so excited to start. Anderson is helping me film today. Thank you, Anderson. And let's start ESL 2023. Let's go. Agradezco un montón que hayáis hecho la espera, entonces toda esta energía, porque por fin está la TSL. Hagamos todo el hype posible, dar tanto amor como sea posible, porque os lo merecéis vosotros. Así que muchísimas gracias y ahora un fuerte aplauso, por favor, por todos. Vale, pues empecemos. Here are the first dancers of this CSL 2023 Shuffle World Cup. This year we have 111 participants in the 1v1 category and we're about to start the pre-selection rounds. But if you didn't know, already 79 of them will be eliminated. And this is the way it's going to work. Each dancer will have 45 seconds to shuffle and they will get a score from 1 to 10 from each of the three judges. After all the participants have danced, the scores from the three judges will be added and every dancer will have a final score out of 30. The 32 dancers with the highest final scores will make it to the top 32 and will get randomly paired in the final bracket, where they will face each other in eliminatory 1v1 battles. Going down to the top 16, then the top 8, then semi-finals and lastly the TSL 2023 final where we have the last two dancers standing who will battle to win the most difficult international shuffle tournament that exists nowadays and one of them will claim the Crave title of TSL winner and now I want to show you my favorite pre-selection highlights and I will also show you my full pre-selection round Muy bien, la verdad. Tengo la boca llena ahora mismo, pero ahora sacamos los tuppers y comer arroz con pollo. Van todos con bocatas y cosas así de comida rápida. Nosotros hemos sido los listos. Ahora hay que tramar los planes del 3 contra 3. ¿Estás preparados o qué? Muy preparados. Sí, sí, sí. Estoy muerto. Eric, eat up. You gotta win 3v3. El arroz con leche de la victoria. Liquidación. 
Vale, quería pasar filtros. Utilizar esto. ¡Ruco! Estoy en la final ya. <risa> He comido esto y yo me siento, estoy en la final. De, de todo. No, pero bueno. Ahora sí viene el stage duro. Espera calentamiento. Ahora viene lo de verdad. O sea, el aguante. Worth it. This is my favorite vlog on YouTube. This is the Anderson Giovanni vlog. What's my vlog? Never mind, this is the Marbic podcast. No fui Monday. Volvemos para adentro. We're gonna announce the top 32. Soy Bere Camen. Comienza el top 32. Top 32 starts. Let's go. Los 32 mejores han sido seleccionados y cada uno va a batallar contra una persona aleatoriamente seleccionada. Ok, ahora vamos a escuchar el bracket definitivo del 1 versus 1. Primero, Max Karakulin. So yeah, I had to battle the first one against Max. The rest of the battles are Garpa versus El Flosted, Because versus Ari, John versus Ruby, Junior versus Debo, Mati versus Gona, Carolina versus Ikirmoto, Vernon Flo versus Ray, Tallblonde Guy versus Shipper, Kento Baby versus Mark Torre, Brian K versus Neon, Autumn versus Ruko, Chill Groove versus Tui, Jay Kyrgios versus Allison Lane, OG Eric versus Harflow, and Lotus versus Walter. And this is TSL 2023 Top 32. And now. Let's get into the battles. Let's get some heat. So let's give the judges some time to decide, okay? A la cuenta de tres. Tres, dos, uno. Okay, 
all my first battle, but this has just started. There were other battles like mine that were crazy matchups for the first round and it was insane having them that soon. But each year the competition is gonna be more stacked, so we can expect even more amazing early matchups in future editions. What I love the most is to see that after every battle there was love and respect for everyone no matter who won or lost. After this tight first round, these are the results from the top 32. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the top 6 team. My battle is the first one in every round, so it's time to get back in the dance floor. The rest of the shufflers making it to the top 8 were Ari, Neon, Debo, J Carges, Burn and Flow, and from our 3v3 team Next G, we were all making it to the top 8. Mark beat Chipper and Eric beat Walter. It was starting to get serious because from 111 shufflers, now we were only 8 left and us 3 were there and I was getting super excited about it. Okay guys, now it's time for something completely different. Let me pause for a second because at this stage, it was time, as Oxy said, for something completely different. The 3 vs 3. It consists in a shuffle team battle where you can do choreographies, freestyles, swaps, punchlines, connections, anything you choose in any order or setting you want. Teams can get very creative, but they don't know the song is gonna be played in their round in advance, so they have to perform around the structure of their choice. And from now on we have to dance back and forth between the 1v1 and the 3v3 categories. That means this is gonna get physically very intense. And we have some really cool things prepared for our team battles that nobody's expecting. Esto da los poderes para ganar. ¿A quién? La capitanía. ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien, muy bien. Acabo de pasar además en el 1 vs 1 a cuartos de final. Por primera vez en mi vida que la última vez me eliminaron en 16 avos. Así pero que ahora, ¿estás preparado? ¿Nervioso? Es todo muy rápido, ¿sabes? Pero, pero no, voy muy confiado. ¿Unas palabras? Vamos a partir la pista. 
finished the first three versus three round and Mark is a little bit sleepy. We had to take him to sleep and like... But yeah, like the invade was crazy. Like if you were, I was inside and I just like, I was holding Mark like this and I just saw everybody, come, everyone coming. everybody coming to us like this. Yeah. yeah, so we put the other team to sleep basically. But yeah, it was fucking oh, yeah. amazing. No, but like they surprised me. They did really good. Yeah. yeah, yeah the Switzerland yeah. team did really good. Yeah, yeah. It was not only freestyle, they have some choreos. What's left for three versus three is crazy, crazy, crazy. Yeah. If they love this, they're gonna, they're gonna love the next one. Now, ahora, uno para uno otra vez y luego tres para tres. Yes. Let's go to the dance floor again.
just like this, Burn and Flow, Mark, Eric, and I were in the 1v1's top 4. And we were also in the 3 vs 3 semi-final with our team Next G. I was very emotional at this point because the 3 of us managed to get this far in the 1 vs 1, which is extremely hard. The chances of this happening were insanely low. Besides winning all our battles, we had to get randomly assigned in different brackets to not battle each other before the top 4. We would only laugh thinking in the scenario we are right now. But here we are. Entonces, va a ser bastante picado. No. ¿Vale? Entonces, 
And here we were in the team's final and about to find out who are the two shufflers that will be face to face in this TSL 2023 final. It's between Vernon and me for the left bracket and between Mark and Eric for the right bracket. I'm ready.
not gonna lie, at this point I thought I had chances to lose. Vernon did incredibly good in this battle and I only have so much respect for him. We could get a tie as well and then one last round. As you can see, many people wanted that. But I knew I was not gonna win directly with the first bolt. If I had to be eliminated in a battle, it was gonna be this one. And now, it was time for the votes. At a count of three, two, one. After this tie, there's a lot of things in my head. All the hours training and practicing, all the effort I did during the last years to get to a place like this, and when I thought the final might slip through my fingers, another chance was given to me. I was physically drained at this point, but then in my mind there was only one thing. Draw energy from wherever and take this last chance. There was no other option. <laughs> It's simply insane to me to see how many people celebrate and get happy to see me going through. So I really want to thank everybody. After being eliminated in the semi-finals in the last edition and been training for 4 years, I was finally in the TSL final. I want to give a big shout out to Vernon Flo who was very tough to battle to and he displayed an amazing level and skills throughout the whole tournament today. You're a beast and I hope we can share the dance floor again soon. But now Mark and Eric have to battle to see who joins me in this final. <laughs>
ESL final is now decided and it's gonna be Mark Torre versus me. But before that we have the 3 versus 3 final and we were exhausted. We couldn't have much rest because the event was running against the clock and everything was back to back. So we headed to the backstage to get some items we needed for the team's final and use this few minutes before the storm. El 3 vs 3, después la final, no para, no para, no tiene sentido. Pero bueno, el carry que tiene esta gente, sé que me falta a mí en mi vida. Estoy destrozado. Vale, no, vale, sí. Me ha tirado, me ha tirado de todo este hombre. Me ha, me ha reventado, la verdad. Es lo que hay. Y ahora además tengo que estar con el equipo, ¿sabes? Tengo que aguantar. ¿Sabes? Y preparamos, preparamos las cosas, ¿no? Sí. Vale, ahora, ahora cuál es. Ahora, muerte de mochila. No, ahora es ronda 2, 2 y 5. Y eh, tenéis que tener ya la cuerda al bolsillo. What? Chicos, no os podéis que me fallan las piernas. Si no lo soy yo, me fallan las piernas ya, eh. Un poco. Cardio, wow. tío. Qué puto grande, bro. Las piernas de un sherbet profesional. Dale, dale. Está demasiado. De, de cámara a cámara. ¿Cómo demasiada estamos? Demasiada locura, hermano. Demasiadas horas y todo el mundo baila demasiado bien y no puedo perderme ni una batalla. Te lo juro, ¿eh? Todas, todas. Yo creo que ganaréis y vais a ganar vosotros. Ahora sí. Our bodies were cramping up, we had no time to rest and everybody was waiting for us on the dance floor. We had been preparing for this physical demand and now it was time to take it and perform. Yeah. 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 
acabat, s'ha acabat, res més a dir. Let's get ready to go, Loco is Jana, the winner of the 3 vs 3 team competition, the team has now 20 seconds to the El equipo, el equipo, el equipo, el equipo ganador. El equipo, equipo, equipo ganador. Ok, everybody, everybody with me, we're going to come from the count of ten to announce the winners of the three versus three in competition. On the count of ten, nine, eight, seven, six, TSL 3 vs 3. I was super proud of what the team pulled out today. We all put a lot of effort into preparing all the rounds and we also had three more that we didn't get to perform. So maybe you'll see them next time we dance. Yay! But this is not over yet. Bernard and Eric had to battle one last time. And Bernard and Flo ended up getting the third place. And now it was time for probably the most important moment of my life. And I want to share a little story before that. When I was one year into shuffling, we had a secret Santa with my high school class and one of the things I got gifted was this. A little trophy cup that said, the best dancer, Mr. Shuffle. At this point, I'm not gonna lie, I was a complete beginner learning by myself with a friend in the streets and I did not think I could become anything close to a great dancer. And little did I know that some years later, after almost quitting, I would pick up dancing seriously and started writing my own story, meeting shuffle communities around the world and battling at the highest level. And today, after 9 years into shuffling, this little trophy cup holds a very special place in my heart and reminds me that even if you come from knowing nothing, you can achieve everything.
Congrats, bro. I won the two freaking competitions, three versus three and one versus one. This has been a dream for literally years. And there, behind this, Sabrina. Sabrina. there's a lot of Sabrina. training alone that nobody sees. Like, it's hard to put in the words everything that you like sacrifice and all the plans you don't do with your friends, with your dancers, uh, time you just spend with family uh, or for yourself. Just a lot of hard work in, uh, to put into what you believe you have to do and what fills you. And you don't even know if all that work is going to like be rewarded then in the competition because you never know what's happened, what can happen in the tournament because it's like freestyle, it's life, there's nothing prepared. And uh, I'm glad I could get both trophies home today. And yeah, it's just hard to put in the work, in towards uh, all the work that's behind. And yeah, it's just, uh, it's just crazy. Amazing. This just motherfucker win! Second one, what the fuck? And bro, you don't know, like, we were saying in the three versus three rehearsals that <laughs> imagine us three in the team get like first, second, and third too. Like, we were like laughing that, yeah, bro, like, that, would, a be joke, like, like, that, that would be like nearly impossible. And we got like first, second, and fourth, and we won the three versus three. And when we four, we already in the semifinals, I was so emotional because I was like, everything is going like too, too, too good. They yeah. took one line now. Everything was going like too perfect. It's just been crazy to battle Mark and like just to be with Bernard and Eric in the top four, I think. We're like four people who put a lot of effort into shuffling and dancing and yeah. As I said before, there's just a lot of work that people don't see. People just like see you when you gather with friends and every and everything, but like they don't see all the sacrifices and everyday uh, decisions you make. Just to move forward towards things like this, and it's not like about like winning only. It's just like the atmosphere you create, the moments you create for everyone, because that's like memories you create for everyone, and that's what's like really last. Like this is going in a wall or whatever it is, but when you are with friends and you like talk about this day, these moments are like memories of a lifetime and that's like what really is important and just to be able to with your dance with the hours we put in to create these moments that hype everyone up and make the moments be remembered that's invaluable for me and everything together just makes it an incredible day and unforgettable day for me and I'm just like extremely 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 happy emotional and very proud of myself and everyone and I want to thank everybody who supports me who encourages me to keep going and just Thank people who believe in me and people who understand that I say no a lot of times to a lot of things because this is what fills me in my life and I'm happy to have people in my life who understands uh, what I'm here to do. Yeah, I just want to thank everybody who is in my life, who supports my dance career, just trying to prove that you really can make a lot in dancing. A lot of people are skeptical and don't believe what dance can bring to the world and to people and to oneself professionally I think this is proof that you can achieve a lot more than what people think and the dance is just beyond what people can imagine you can do so thank you everybody who's watching these trophies are dedicated to everyone who supports me and also to all the shufflers around the world 
just keep shuffling, follow what you believe in, even though nobody understands you, you know what's better for you and nobody should take that away from you. People don't understand, like you understand better than, than anyone else what is important in your life. No one else can do it, even people who is like really, really close to you, and maybe they can hurt you with their words, just believe in yourself, follow your passion and feel your heart. So, thank you everyone. Okay, okay.